Have you ever wondered if you can learn a complex, multifaceted subject that people devote their whole lives to with a manga? No? Well, I didn't either, but I didn't have much of a choice. Exploring under the surface has always been one of my favorite things in life, whether it be getting to know a good friend, seeing what ingredients went into that amazing dish, discovering how much work really went into that championship play. Whatever it may be, we humans crave that intimacy, that intimacy to know something more thoroughly so we can appreciate it just that much more. There's just so much that we don't initially see. So let's take that same thought up a notch. You have millions of living beings in you. Okay, now let me explain that with a manga. While researching how to explore under the surface, I looked into the technology needed to, and I never needed that kidney anyway, okay. I mean, okay, it made sense. To look under the world wasn't gonna be very easy, but I was getting impatient, and all my morbid questions were adding up. Why does that fire burn? Why do I feel stuff? What's up with my friend John? So I kept researching, and something even more unexpected came across my eye. Oh, what's this? Okay, let's see. The Manga Guide to Molecular Biology. Rin and Amy have been skipping molecular biology classes all semester. Ah, kids. And Professor Morrow has had enough. He's sentencing them to summer school on his private island. What? Did we just uncover the manga Epstein Island? What is happening? Okay, no, no we're good. No, no, we're good. But they're in store for a special lesson, using Dr. Moro's virtual reality machine to travel inside the human body! I'm done. I'm, I'm so done. A nice tropical island with a college professor, his assistant, and two college girls. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing in disarray. Actually being introduced to fun characters like Enzyme Man and Drinkzilla to illustrate how your liver detoxifies alcohol. Or Pac-Man, illustrating how polymerase can transcript RNA. Yes, Pac-Man! Each lesson comes with easy to grasp illustrations of these complex subjects in the molecular world. But that doesn't mean these things are only in the molecular world. This is a single cell? So yeah, all pretty easy to grasp. Until they put a complex multi-layer diagram explaining the intricacies of the formation of deoxyribonucleic acids and how it uses the hydrogen to form GC and ATP. Manga, manga, I love manga. What the... Gary? But then on the other hand, the illustrations might be like this. The protein is complete. Is that, how, is that how they really look? <laughs> hey, so the results are in, man, and I'm sorry to break it to you, but you got some girly pop genes, bro. Holy shit. It's not just girly pop ones, though. In your body lies thousands of these things with radically different roles from each other. Ones that contract, ones that relax, ones that control your body. Super long ones responsible for that wacky thing called feeling. Ones that make gym bros big, that digest food, that maintains those shins. <laughs> I lost my shins years ago. It's an insane world, and Rin and Amy are experiencing it all through Dr. Morrow's dream machine. Thanks to that, we're able to explore this amazing microscopic world throughout each lecture. And speaking of lecture, each one taught by the amazing assistant. And only the assistant. Where is the professor? Now that I mention it, we're invited to this island by our professor, but we've rarely seen him. We only ever see Dr. Morrow on brief occasions, and when we do, it's virtually on the dream machine. We never actually see his physical form, and the main characters find this weird too. He just shows up with his comically large head, screams, and then heads out. It even gets to the point that the main characters start to doubt his existence. I mean, we did miss his classes, and we haven't even seen him on this island yet. And whenever he does show up in the virtual world, there's always something off with him. Whether it be him getting depressed when the death of a cell is mentioned, his big ass head, and at times his equally ominous assistant. 
But other than those weird things, all the fun illustrations and the way this book explains the subject matter is also exciting and easy to digest. Like digesting food, visiting giant DNA strands, how do brain-eating amoeba replicate, showing the liver as an overworked businessman, but once you drink alcohol is apparently a power ranger, until your liver fails. Glutamine, proline, alien, Gary, these guys! It's a busy world down there in the scene we call molecular biology. So many cells work together tirelessly from one side of your body to the next to make your whole self function smoothly and efficiently. It's all so incredible. Or at least, it would be. You see, as we go forward, we start to dive into subjects like DNA, RNA, gene therapy, and manipulation. Well, in the last chapter, everything we've learned comes to a head with the final reveal. After the final lesson, taught by the professor, we're taken down to the basement level of the island. And there the professor is. Ill. With cancer. And after this reveal, goes into cryosleep because he's confident molecular biology will make a cure possible in the future. The two main characters then walk out, and with a chipper-ass last panel, resolve to become doctors, to use what they've learned to find a cure in the future. <sighs> kind of a big jump from Enzyme Man and Drinkzilla. Okay, so... Let me get this straight, Masaharu Takamura. You got me to read 225 pages to become attached to this Professor Oak-like personality, his big-ass head, and actually really good life Learning advice. Learning does not mean cramming knowledge into your head. And you taught me all the ins and outs of molecular biology and how it could be used to cure otherwise incurable diseases so you can motivate me. What the hell? And the people reading, and all these students, to cure cancer? That's, that's cold. That's cruel, but that's beautiful. I've hardly ever seen an author with the balls to do something like this. And in a kid's manga at that, just wow. I went into this manga simply looking to find a world, a world responsible for it all. That world I was told was to be no doubt smaller than anything I could ever imagine or afford. I would never dream of finding it. Yet, I did. And it was instead a lot bigger than I'd previously expected, with responsibilities held that might be bigger than us all. Gene therapy, manipulation, and medicine, all weapons against one common enemy, cancer. Other than making a fruitful harvest and making gym bros big, there's one other thing I didn't mention molecular biology is responsible for, curing incurable diseases. Molecular biology has already greatly assisted in the fight against stuff like heart disease, diabetes, cancer, but the fight is still ongoing and there's still much to be done. So I decided I'll carry on the message this manga has to tell. If you also want to see Dr. Amoro awake from his cry asleep, let's join in the fight. I attached a cancer fundraiser right below the video. The goal is 1k, it's a little ambitious, but I'm hoping we can go over it. <laughs> so not only does the manga guide to molecular biology teach the subject matter, it shows what's been learned can be used for one of the biggest causes there is. And I think that, when it comes down to it, is one of the biggest beauties of looking under the surface. It's not only the cool things under there, but the consequences of learning it. Those consequences could be that bond being strengthened, that dish being perfected, that passion being fueled. Or it could be curing cancer. Whatever it may be, our choice of looking under the surface cannot be taken for granted. Surely, finding this much meaning out of something so microscopic is a testament to this. Is it not? So don't forget to be curious. Even at the most microscopic level, you can find some meaning after all. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I'm gonna be live streaming on this date right here, so tune in. We're gonna be playing a game for a video, so I'm super excited about what that entails. Also, sorry it's kinda late from now. In the meantime, I'm gonna be at my friend's wedding at a barn. <laughs> anyway, what are you waiting for? 
Go look under the surface of that crazy thing you love, or that small thing. But I guess most importantly, just stay curious. Much love. Subscribe.